welcome to the second presentation in the career counseling initiative undertaken by life positive which aims at simplifying life in the first video we had received a request regarding a query about post plus 2 level baf course bachelor of accounts and finance we have received a similar request from the parent about the common law entrance test that is clat which is held on national level and mh llb 5 year cet which is conducted by state common entrance test cell mumbai for admission to post plus 2 level legal education degree course so we are going to discuss the features of two pathways in post plus 2 level legal education since we are going to share a detailed information the presentation and the video is going to be a bit longer the viewers and the subscribers are requested to bear with us post plus 2 level career is a very tricky situation as far as guidance and counseling is concerned the parents after ssc or equivalent examination must seek guidance and counseling and do the attitude test aptitude test and interest inventory of the child the same process is to be repeated after plus 2 level which gives a better insight to the parents and the candidate in the joint meeting post testing with the counselor and this process this testing and counseling avoids the pitfalls of selection of a wrong course because of the un <coughs> unwanted influences of the peer group family members family business and so on in the first presentation we have discussed about the accounts and finance as a career here we are going to discuss legal education as a career llb 5 years is an integrated undergraduate degree course what do you mean by integrated course the any integrated course whether in education or law saves one vital important year in the life of the career aspiring candidate and saving of one year is a great opportunity and great advantage for the parents and the candidate the candidate who has successfully completed ssc plus hsc in any stream are eligible for a dual degree course in law 
this course leads depending on the institution you are get picking admission to various degrees any one of the various degrees for example you can become bls llb you can become a ba bba llb you can acquire ba llb degree you can acquire bsc llb degree you can acquire become llb degree and so on and so forth some private universities you an added advantage apart from completing this one of these degrees of 5 years they give you a bonus degree in criminology for example one of the universities i will not name that university because i am not the marketing manager of that university that university gives you ba criminology ba forensic science so if the candidate is having an attitude and aptitude and is very versatile in time management the parents can opt for this course and the candidate can get within 5 years two different degrees which are complementary to each other so career counseling is not a it is is a pure science it is a pure science and if the counselor is not interested in money but is interested in the career and the future of the candidate the can suggest n number of options to the parents and the candidates the admission to llb 5 year course are based on entrance examination whether it is clat or the entrance examination conducted by delhi university or the cet that is conducted by state common entrance test cell maharashtra let us go first go to clat why clat first because clat is a national examination it is a national level entrance test why clat first because apart from 23 to more national law universities many private universities are admitting candidates based on clat score national law university delhi conducts its own test and this is a unique example all india law entrance test sir the provisional list of law university participating in clat is given in the classified table in this presentation i have prepared a table having four columns in the second column i have given the name of the law university the full name and the short name in the third column i have stated the location and the state and in the fourth column i have given you the website of the law university or the private university this will give you an advantage one click you can verify the features and the facilities available in the law university in this slide you can see two univer two law universities in the next slide you can see the three more 
universities. Next three universities are before you. Next three universities are before you. Kindly remember that these are national law universities. Three national law universities from Kerala, Odisha, Jharkhand are here. Three national universities from Assam, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu are here. And this is the slide. Slide number 10. Very important. Three national universities established by Government of Maharashtra Department of Higher and Technical Education which are situated in Maharashtra are given here. The first one, the Mumbai. The second one, the Nagpur. And the third one at Aurangabad. Then this slide explains Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Haryana National Law Universities. And the last one is at Agartala and Tripura. Apart from about 24 national law universities, which some of them are public law universities. The consortium of law universities. The CLAT is, CLAT is conducted by consortium of law universities. And the consortium gives the responsibility of conducting the CLAT to each one university every year. And this is go <coughs> going on by rotation. This is the special feature of CLAT. CLAT was conducted online for some years. Unfortunately, the online CLAT was not a grand success. So, in the year 2024, CLAT was conducted offline. In the next slides, we are going to see the private universities who are accepting CLAT candidates. Again, you see the list of private universities located in various states. I have given their names in column number two, their place in column number three, and their website in column number four. I request the parents and the candidates to go through each and every university, the private university, maybe some of the universities are at par excellent. In the second slide of the private universities, you find three more universities. In slide number 15, you find three more university, private universities. Then three more private universities in slide number 6, 17. Slide number 18 has also three more universe, private universities which are accepting CLAT candidates. Slide number 19 also has three more 
private universities slide number 20 has four private universities all these private universities i have gone through their websites and so i have shared you the website these universities have their some of the unique features and placement facilities so what is advantages in the clad you get university level education you get a standard infrastructure and you are with the candidates who are selected from the national level entrance test here you are having five national level universities private universities this is the clat syllabus i want to point out to the candidates that clat syllabus has undergone a change in 2024 earlier the clat was for 150 marks now it is for 120 marks and the time is 120 minutes so the candidates get 1 minute for per question the weightages for the five sub sections or sections are being shown in this slide here are the features of the clat there is negative marking there is negative marking in clat <coughs> so wide guess while solving multiple choice question is to be avoided by the candidates the consortium of clat provides much more online guidance to the candidates so as far as i am concerned as a counselor there is no need of joining a private class to clear the clat if you plan ahead one year earlier you can successfully complete the syllabus give mock test and crack the clat with flying colors the private coaching classes do the spoon feeding which is injurious to the confidence and the intellectual capacity of the candidate the subject wise syllabus of clat is given here the english you can see in this slide the english language syllabus in this slide you can see the current affairs and general knowledge syllabus In this slide you can see the legal reasoning syllabus of CLAT In this slide you can see the logical reasoning syllabus of CLAT Everything is self explanatory So comments are not required I think the last part of clat part number 5 is quantitative technique the syllabus is given here let us summarize the clat in the first 28 slides or 27 slide to be precise 
we have described the features of CLAT, the institutions participating in the CLAT, the private universities accepting the CLAT score, <coughs> the features of CLAT syllabus, and the elaborate CLAT syllabus. The websites of the national public universities and the private universities, they claim that they have a good faculty, varied curricular and co-curricular activities, placement opportunities, and since they are universities, the fee structure of this institution is on the higher side. The candidates who have missed CLAT should not be nervous. They can appear for MH LLB CET, which is conducted by Kosi Judicial Authority, established by Department of Higher and Technical Education, Government of Maharashtra. The name of the institution is State Common Entrance Test Cell. In the coming slide, we are going to see the Maharashtra State CET for law, post plus two level. This slide explains the six sections of MH LLB integrated CET. There are total six sections. The weightages are given, number of questions are given, 150 questions are to be solved by the candidate within 120 minutes. Total five sections, 150 questions. These coming slides are explaining the content of the syllabus. Legal aptitude and legal reasoning. This is the core subject. If legal aptitude is not tested and the legal reasoning is not tested, then we are not testing the candidate. The second section is general knowledge and current affairs. The third section is logical and analytical reasoning. which is complementary to legal reasoning and legal aptitude. The fourth section is English, which is the base of legal education, because most of the functioning of the courts maybe district court, high court, or the Supreme Court is in English. So, solid English background is required. That's why the fourth part of the CET is English. And the 10th level base mathematical aptitude is there. <coughs> The questions asked is of objective multiple choice with four options. The feature that is CT of the CD that there is no negative marking. The time allotted for CT is of two hours, that is 120 minutes. You have to solve 150 questions in 120 minutes. 
So the candidate has to do practice so that he can say on time and answer correctly and quickly. In comparison to CLAT, the CET paper is in two media, English and Marathi. Another difference between CLAT and CET is that this CET is computer-based test. The mock test link is provided on online portal of the CET. CET qualified candidates can apply on merit. The admission process is merit come option based. So more the options are, the more the chances of allocation is there in MH, LLB 5, CET. In CET based admission process, there is quota for all India candidates. So non Maharashtrian candidates, the candidates who have completed their degree or SSC and HSC from outside Maharashtra can be admitted to state level admission process through all India quota. There is a quota for NRI, OCI, PIO and FNS foreign national candidates in colleges. The colleges participating in the online admission process have to register on the admission portal. These colleges are approved by the university and the bar council and the registered colleges are at their documents are verified by director of higher education Pune who is the nodal officer for admission process. Some of the colleges who are registered on the admission portal are accredited by NAC. Some of the colleges are not accredited by NAC. So the candidates and parents are require, required to verify the status of the college in which we are seeking admission. Because college from which you pass out has a vital role to play. Some of the colleges in state of Maharashtra are renowned colleges. Some of the colleges have the facility of internship. For example, a very renowned college at Pune, at the ILS College, Pune, has much more features and that is why the merit of MS candidates, all India candidates is higher on the higher side for ILS college. Some of the colleges like Government Law College, that is the only one college in whole Maharashtra, which is a government college, has a historical background. It has an history. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the alumni of the college. But the current status of that college is also important. The faculty of the college is also important. The websites of these colleges who have registered for MH LLB five years CAP will be shown to the candidates 
when they registered for centralized admission process. It is in the interest of the candidates and the parents to verify the recheck the institutions they are opting for admission. We advise them to recheck the facility in the reality. These colleges which are registered for MH, LLB, FIUS, centralized admission courses can be classified into various groups. For example, government colleges, government aided colleges, government aided minority colleges, unaided colleges, that is, these are permanently unaided colleges, and unaided minority colleges. The fee structure of unaided colleges is on the higher side. The fee structure of unaided colleges is sanctioned by fee regulatory authority. But the candidates have complained that the fee approved by fee regulatory authority fra is not charged by the college, unaided colleges they are asking for higher money in such case the candidates can complain to fee regulatory authority having its office at Government Polytechnic Bandra East with the proof. Thus, in the previous 35 slides, we have discussed post plus two level legal education opportunities to all India candidates on national level and to Maharashtra state candidates, all India candidates, NRI, OCI, PIO candidate in the state of Maharashtra. So this is the second series, second in the series. In the first, first presentation on this series, we have said, why should plus two candidates go for Bachelor of Accounting, Finance, degree program. The link for that presentation is given here for your convenience. Kindly go through this extensive legal education counseling program. Give your feedback in form of comments and I will be highly obliged if you give suggestions for new topics. Thank you very much.